again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. The faculty tower. I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh, you needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you.
Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Aconite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. Must be the prefect's bathroom. Hello, Amora. so combative if the ministry would allow them to have one. One of those goblins comes near me. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone? Hello, Mora. Thank you. 
off on another adventure, are we? On my your claim is no good. That had better not be another student, I hear. No student would dare wander in here, not on my watch. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose, Professor Black. Hufflepuff? Not Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that.
Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your... assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Repairing. I need to fix the lift before I... That seems to have done the trick. Revelio. This castle will never cease to surprise me.
I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? lift this platform, I think I could get it to work.
Revelia. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now? But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment charm is superb. as a demiguide. I'm invincible. Uh, Ow. What a Thank you. 
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Revelio. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Hello. Might you have time to help with an urgent delivery? You sound as if you could use some help. How fortunate to see you. The, um, what was it? Troll, slayer or vanquisher? Whisperer? No matter. You clearly know how to get things done. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. Listen, a friend of mine in Feldcroft needs help fighting Rangrock's loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. You sent crates of cabbages to battle Ranrock's loyalists? I did indeed. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they will simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Why would the goblins target Feldcroft? My friend Bernard says they've been seen in the area for a while. He seems to think they're looking for something. But lately, they've become more aggressive. Could you not grow or buy more Chinese chomping cabbages? I suppose I could, but that would take time. Time we do not have, what with Ranrock's thugs posing new threats every day. Besides, it's the principle of the matter. I grew those cabbages, and they are extraordinary. Any idea where I might find the crates? Yes. From what I hear, one was spotted south of Feldcroft. The other, so I hear, is south of Brockborough, near the river. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. I should be going now. Thank you. I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. It's like a place, right? Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. When the clouds are dark is always the best time to strike. Nature herself lends a veil beneath which to orchestrate one's treachery.
They come after me, they'll rest in Graves. We can't even agree on something amongst ourselves. How on earth are we to forge a plan to defeat our enemies? I tell you this, Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. The crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. I never met a beast I didn't hate. Avelio. Ministry's never done nothing for me, no wise. You should never have come here. The best place to hunt beasts is the Forbidden Forest. Hmm. Now, see, Fog can be your friend, but uh, you have to be a friend to Fog. Don't look at me like that. You haven't heard what I'm about to say. <clears throat> Where others see darkness, I see bright opportunities.
Venia. one crate in hand. I only need one more. Always one, isn't there? Except this time it's not just one, is it? It's the old lot of us. All falling prey to some delusion, what seems to have gripped one of us his mind. That's what's happened here, isn't it? <sighs> Life ends here. Shame. I didn't always like a polite battle. Wings with more sting. Oh, you could hide from me, did ya? Spring up! Rebellion. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alohomora. I know what that Let me open. <laughs> Careful, this one pack barely felt anything at all. I can sleep a bit easier now. Rebellion.
Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wish I had the energy. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I know you pleased to be included. Magic! on Ranrock's hands. Intruder! Well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Wonder who lives here. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. Are we? I can see why Feldcroft need. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Let's 
of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndai. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins.
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ah. You're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against through at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races, then. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Expelliarmus!
Who lived here, I wonder? Rebellion. Lumos. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. Here we are. Oh, Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Hufflepuff. Hello, Melda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. Well, they sit around and hope to be the best. I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge.
I'm getting the hang of this. Seems my record remains untouched. I expected better competition from you. What do you say? Up for another go? A chance to avenge the honor of your house? That sort of thing? I'm ready to give it another go. Good. acceptable <laughs> now that's more like it You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. 
But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? Hmm. If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of my own house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mare people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know.
Lumos. Hogsmeade, here I come. Alohomora. from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Eindel course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team.
wouldn't mind a job at that alchemy center in Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Goblins don't stand a chance against you. Glacier. Doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Yourself, though. Let's have a look at life. Glad those trolls aren't trampling the foliage anymore. <laughs> it's my livelihood they're hurting when they do that. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as... Madam Green, welcome to Dogweed and Deathcap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little dears. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. 
Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Revelia. You're a force to be reckoned with, aren't you? Scaring all the goblins away. Good for you, getting all those foul goblins are hiding. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
What are you up to now?